People that have never been to MFTA come for the first time and they are so surprised because we are not just a warehouse. It's so much more than that. It's about our members, the artists, the people. The people. The people. It's about the stuff and the people who make the great stuff with the stuff. It's a pretty magical place. We have so many diverse and interesting, talented artists and educators that come through our doors. From local theater directors to Staten Island zookeepers. MFTA is here to support the creative vision of New Yorkers. Materials for the Arts was started by a woman named Angela Fremont. She had a job working for the very, very young New York City Department of Cultural Affairs. And she was assigned to work at the Arsenal in Central Park. And she heard that the zoo in Central Park needed a refrigerator to house the medicine for the animals. And she had this great idea. People in New York have things. Artists and arts organizations and other organizations need things. And this was a way to put it together. So she made a call to a friend at a radio station. They put on an on-air plea for refrigerators. The phone line started to light up and the idea for Materials for the Arts was born. So from that idea, Materials for the Arts grew into a 35,000 square foot warehouse with education classrooms and all sorts of programming. And Materials for the Arts is the lifeblood of arts and arts organizations in New York City. When New York was brought to a standstill by the COVID-19 pandemic, MFTA had to pivot and figure out how to continue supporting artists and educators in this unprecedented time. If we're known for anything, it's for our fabric. Because of this, hundreds of our recipients and donors flooded our inbox requesting access to fabric for masks so they could share with their communities. Everyone from artists, designers and donors were using MFTA donated fabric to make masks. Thousands of masks were made with MFTA supplies. With so many New Yorkers in need during the COVID-19 pandemic, MFTA had to make some changes to who could receive donations in order to better support NYC. We redefined the definition of arts and culture to include mutual aid groups, social justice platforms like Black Lives Matter and undocumented immigrants. And also we opened our doors to support individual artists at a time when they really needed that support. So during the worst of the pandemic, we piloted and developed a curbside pickup program. So we brought all of these items on flatbeds down to our loading dock, and then members of the community came in proper ventilation to our loading dock and took the items. In addition to giving supplies to schools, Materials for the Arts has always been dedicated to teaching schools how to reuse supplies. During the quarantine, we made it our mission to make sure that even though students were working from their computers at home, they were still given opportunities to have tactile experiences. So during our field trips, during our workshops, students in their own houses were reusing cereal boxes to make puppets, to make birds, reusing fabric to make costumes. And we found that this was very important for students in terms of feeling engaged, having a sense of mindfulness, and a sense of belonging during those difficult times. MFTA has been busy keeping the arts alive and keeping items out of landfill. We love supporting artists, educators, and creators in New York City. And now we need your support. Maybe I met you on the warehouse floor, searching through those yellow bins or looking for that perfect piece of fabric. And if I did, then you know and I know how important Materials for the Arts is to you and your organization and to the rest of New York City. So now's the time, take out your checkbook, take out your credit card, break that piggy bank, and send Materials for the Arts your love and your support in the way of a financial contribution. We need to make sure that Materials for the Arts lives long into the future. Thank you. Or consider becoming one of our recurring monthly donors. You can find out more information on our website. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your support. It really makes possible what we do. Thank you so much. <laughs>